hi guys i know it's been a minute since i've seen you so i thought i would come back with a little sit down chit chat get ready with me nothing too drastic something simple you know we just we just test the waters a little bit so this is the simplest look ever okay i didn't even use foundation in this look because i wanted to show you guys my everyday makeup routine like for the daytime super fresh super simple nothing too heavy and drastic and dramatic okay so if you're interested to see how i came up with this look then you have to subscribe to the channel channel and you have to leave your comments and you have to like the video you have to share it if you're interested in makeup and hair lifestyle content then this is where you need to be so i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys for your love and support and yeah let's get into it So it's been a minute since I did a little makeup routine for you guys. So I figured why not? Since it's been a while, I'm going to sit here and do my makeup and do a little chit chat and catch up a little bit. First of all, if you're new here, my name is Nakisha. Welcome back to my channel. Anything related to beauty, this is where you need to be. I know I've been gone for a minute. I don't know if you guys have been watching the vlog to see what I've been up to. I try to incorporate vlogs of recent. This is not a vlog channel, but every now and then then I tried to do a little one vlog for you guys just to keep you updated on what I'm doing so if you haven't watched my vlogs as yet then you can pause this video go watch it then come back to this video I have been MIA because I have not been feeling very motivated to be recording and editing stuff like that which sometimes you, you don't sit you don't need to sit and wait for motivation you just need to be consistent and i always tell you guys that i lack consistency and i feel like sometimes that's why i'm not where i need to be and i'm gonna be totally totally transparent with you guys if I'm this close, something always happen in my life where I have to stop doing what I'm doing to go focus on something else. And then when I'm finished, like doing what I'm doing is almost like there's like this burnout. I can't explain it where I just need to relax. And it's always these issues where is it a life and death situations happening. So there's like no in between, you know what I mean? So that caused me sometimes to just say, you know what, just put this on pause. And that's not all always good but like I said I haven't really been feeling very motivated to do any makeup videos and I don't want to be repetitive either because the thing is if I have a makeup routine then that's why it's called a routine I cannot switch it up because it's what worked for me and then if I keep coming on here and doing the same thing over and over it's gonna seem super repetitive sometimes it's not like I don't have content I do have content but I don't want to keep repeating the same stuff over and over and that's why like I said I start uploading vlogs on here which you guys don't seem to be interested in stuff like that but I mean it's is what it is the hair video that i did the other day i realized that you guys like quick weaves because <laughs> a lot of people watch that video i was surprised but that hair was a very nice hair the thing with quick weaves right and weave in general if you want your hair to look a certain way you're gonna have to get good weave okay and good weave these days are hard to find this is an amazon wig is this good weave absolutely not the weave that i wore in my quick weave that was actually raw hair i bought that hair couple years ago you know few years back and I still have it and it was still brand new because I, I sewed it on a wig so it was still brand new and I got it years ago and you see how it was bouncy still so they're not making weaves like that anymore the weave that I'm getting these days they can barely hold a curl so I'm gonna just stick and I don't know why my room is so dark and it's sunny outside and excuse my bed I'm not making my bed right now because I'm going right back in it as soon as I done this video I'm going right back in it I haven't really been wearing makeup or reset because my skin is doing amazing look at that I just woke up there's nothing on my skin and look at the hydration oh my god I haven't really been using a lot of makeup I recently washed my makeup brushes as well so yeah I'm just trying to maintain the glow of my skin and one of the reason why my skin is doing so well is because I'm not so stressed and I'm drinking a lot of water I don't have no man problem I don't have no work problem so just to let you guys know that those things kind of affect how 
your body react okay and the other thing that I need to let you guys know a skincare routine especially when you're becoming an adult like getting older is absolutely necessary your skin is going to show off and it's gonna show out I've been doing a lot of fasting also because I'm trying to lose weight and that also has been helping to like purge my skin I've been drinking the um, the fiber water also that just I just incorporated that recently but before that I was drinking my apple cider vinegar water with my lemon those are the things that I've been doing oh and I'm not drinking any alcohol I'm not drinking coffee I cut those things out of my diet coffee is not for me to be honest I used to drink a lot of coffee when I used to work in Manhattan because my boss she was a big coffee drinker so every day I used to be at Starbucks that also helped to put a lot of weight on me so instead of like coffee these days I love matcha I recently start um, making my own matcha at home too so my birthday is coming up if any of you guys want to send me something for my birthday send me some matcha okay email me and I'll send you an address and you just send me some matcha for my birthday that's really what I want and yeah my birthday is coming up <laughs> I have a whole dress I really want to look snatched for my birthday I hate planning birthdays because I'm always disappointed so I don't really want to plan anything but hopefully I have a nice birthday yeah anyways these are the brows I'm gonna show you guys my makeup routine that I've been using or I've been doing from the other day I haven't really been using any foundations just because my skin my skin is skinning so I don't really need a lot of like stuff on my face so I'm gonna show you guys my daytime routine which is just some skin tint this one is from Maybelline so I just use a few drops of this nothing too extra this is the brush that I use to blend out my makeup of recent because it's very dense it's a liquid blush brush and then I just push it into my skin this is for the days easy days when I don't really want to do too much it's very lightweight on my skin it stays on all day my pores don't get too clogged it's not as heavy as the foundation or concealer I got very light-handed with it and I just push it into my skin so guys, I feel like I'm ready to, to meet someone. I wasn't ready, but now I feel like I am ready. And this time, I want something more, I guess, serious this time around. This time around, I think I know what I want and I'm preparing myself for it. Physically, mentally, emotionally. So I'm going to try to be as healthy as possible when, you know, the right thing comes and no I'm a woman I'm not looking for anything that's not my job my husband should look for me the Bible said when a man find a wife he found a good thing not the other way around when my husband find me I'm going to be the best version of myself okay so I'm ready I think to start dating living in New York to date in New York uh, but <laughs> never know what or who you might meet that's that and that recently went through a big transformation I mean I don't even want to get into it too tough but I feel like I'm in a very healthy place my last situation I'm finally over it guys if you see my bed look a hot mess it's okay I am not making it okay cuz as soon as I'm done here I'm going straight back into that bed so don't mind that anyways guys see so what the, the skin tint is giving okay so i also been doing this thing too so i've been mixing darker concealer with my original concealer this concealer is from elf dark concealer here this is from maybelline in the shade sand so i mix these two this is a very soft beat and if you can't do this then i don't know there's no hope for you where makeup is concerned so then i take my concealer brush i let this dry down a little bit but right now i don't have time and then i just blend both of them if you have really dark circles under your eyes you can try this routine i tell you that it works it works dark circle where you see that look at that see it just blend your under eye like just blend it and then you do the same thing for this one mix both of them while you're blending and you just push them into your skin like that so I'm not really wearing a bunch of makeup on my skin right now the less makeup you want to wear the more you're gonna have to invest into your skincare then you just blend out your nose forehead upper lip like that I 
and that's what your under eye look like if you want to you can also carry it up here I'm going in with this blush also from elf and I'm just gonna put a few drops here I love this blush very nice blush so I'm gonna put a few drops here if you want you can put it into your crease up here and just blend 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 just like that look how pretty that look same thing for here super natural super easy you see that look at my face see look how natural this look this is looking like skin basically just enhancing your beauty your already beautiful face now we're gonna make sure we set our under eye and I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty powder and a powder puff so just blend your under eye you're gonna take your powder puff and you're gonna just set dust off the excess and just set just like that very light hand forehead nose I want to take pictures this year for my birthday I haven't really been taking any like outfit pictures and that is pissing me off going in with the Sephora powder it's a um, foundation powder it's the shade there's no shade at the bottom I don't know what it's called I just know that it's a matte powder and then I'm just gonna take some of this just to like add some powder to my face so I'm just gonna curl my lashes the best I can take some black mascara from Maybelline my eyelashes have been growing as well and yeah just thriving this is what happens when you leave things alone. I haven't been wearing any lashes either. So that also helped them to grow. My window is open so you're gonna hear the sirens. So that's what my eyelashes look like. I use the eyelash curler. It helped to like enhance the length of your lashes. So that's done on that. So let's do some bronzing. I'm going in, as you guys know, with my Fenty bronzer. Not really a bronzer, it's a foundation powder, but I use it to bronze. And this is in the shade 420. So just bronze on my face like this. Forehead. This is a very soft look. Take some from my nose and just go in here, here as well. So this is a nice little daytime look. If you're running to like the movies or going shopping, you know, you just want something to like spruce up your face, but you don't want to do too much. This is basically the look that you need. And then just add some blush. And if you want, seeing that it's the winter time, you can also add some glow to your look. Just to like enhance my wounds, my cheekbone here. And then a little bit on the nose. I need to talk about this lip lip um oil. This is the worst thing I've ever spent my money on. This has damaged my lips tremendously. You see all of these dark marks that you're seeing on my lips is from this thing. And the reason why I kept using it is because I wasn't going to waste my money. This has damaged my lips and I don't recommend Or the Dior lip oil. I think I'm going to go in with my hot chocolate by Fenty. This is a very nice lip gloss. I'm going to just put my regular lip gloss over it. A little. This is from... What color is this? Oh, this is from Colourpop. 
Fifth Avenue. And that's it, see? Super cute, super easy. It took me like 20 minutes. And I'm gonna do my hair and let you guys see how I do my hair as well. This wig is from Amazon. Bought it sometime up in the year. And I really just been using it to like practice like melting my lace and stuff like that. So I just put it back on like recently. But yeah. So yeah guys, so this is basically what my hair, well my makeup look like. And after I did my hair, this is what the hair looks like. And that's basically the makeup routine for today. I hope you guys like it. It was super quick, super easy, super fun to like sit down for a little and just do a little chit chat, catch up with you guys. And yeah, I hope I see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for your love and support. I hope you guys continue to like, share and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you in my next one. It's your girl Nakisha. Bye guys. Mwah.